Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're playing the Ocean Course at Half Moon Bay. And I have personally ranked this one as the best course in the Bay Area. So let's head out to the course, see how I did, and talk about why. Here is the beautiful Half Moon Bay Ocean Course. I'll be coming in and out with live commentary and on-course commentary. Hope you enjoyed the new map chasers. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I'm kind of club up because of the wind, I think. Chunked it. Oh gosh. Okay, so I just need to get it on. I don't follow my own advice here and try to get too cute. This is not a great start. And unfortunately, this one rolls out to the left and down this downslope that I didn't see. Sit. Wow, it rolled out so far. This one doesn't fall, and we start off with a double. Oh. Almost. Hole number two, you're hitting over a ravine, and the landing area can be a little intimidating. I feel like I hit approach shot. This approach ends up a little bit short, and I'll have to execute a bump and run. It's just short. This one rolls out way more than I thought, and I have a tricky downhill putt next. Wow, I hit that. I didn't even hit that very hard. So here's the putt. And yeah, as I said, it was a downhill tricky one, and this one rolls out pretty far, so I have a tricky comeback. Oh my gosh. And I can't convert, and so I start off I with two think, doubles. Uh, more than right edge. Would you play that at like 120? So this ends up being a miss hit, but I got lucky hit the front edge of the green and rolls on. No, oh, short. Oh my gosh, I barely got on. Lucky is better than good. Holy crap, I got, this is a huge putt. Spring it towards the ocean or what? So after that botched three putt on the last hole, I end up putting myself in a good position to follow up with a two putt from deep. That's really good speed. And we're able to convert this to get a par. Thanks. Frick! I thought I pulled this one into the nasty stuff, but it ends up being short of it, and I'm set up pretty good for my second shot. Uh, I didn't see it land. Get out of my view. Get out of my... No, yeah. And nothing fancy here, just laying up with the club I'm comfortable with. No, I wanted to be closer to the cart path than this. Ryan, you're more to... As a result, leave myself an easy approach into the green, and we're on a regulation. I'll take it. I'm on. I just, just want to be on. And overall, I feel like the speed was okay, just didn't get the line quite right. Thanks. I'll take the easy par. Is that four? That's not four, right? I'm fortunate enough that my high spinny fade goes past the trap and out of trouble. Oh, I'm just on the sand. Yeah, no, I'm in the trap. I'm not. I hit this one pier, but it ends up in the trap. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, gosh. Public enemy number one, sand traps. If you're a watcher of the channel, you know I'm horrible at the sand, and I'm quite happy with this. Okay, I'm out. That's all I can ask for. And this time, the line is good on the putt, but just did not have the pace. Oh, thanks. It's a huge fairway, huh? You may or may not have noticed, but my speed and distance is down overall because I've been playing less golf. God, my club is so gross right now. I just hit one practice swing. I left it out right, but it's one of my best struck irons of the day. Oh, wow, I missed a green from this far. All I have to say is bump and run, gang. Bump and run, gang. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Matt. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> Was pretty close. Bump and run, gang. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, the bump and run is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, settle down. That's gonna go hit the car path. Okay. Oh! I think I'm up. This sucks. Left-handed. Sometimes I surprise myself as I'm able to pull off this left-handed chip. <laughs> Unfortunately, I follow up an epic chip with a really bad putt, and so I'm in a position now where my comeback putt is a little bit outside my comfort zone. That was super downhill. And what I was alluding to, I end up missing the comeback, end up with three putt. Oh, three putt after that really good uh, recovery. 
It, it, it bends pretty far to the left yeah. too as well, right? Yeah. High spinny fades do not work for dog leg left holes. Uh, I mean, it should be fine, right? But... Oh, this is really wet. It may not be pretty, but at least it's advancing the ball forward. I was laying it up anyway. Just stay down on it and compress. That's the new move. And I end up hitting a decent iron shot into the green, and I'm on in regulation. Let's go. And I end up hitting a pretty decent putt here. It's a huge sweeping right to left, and I put it close enough to where oh. I could just tap in for par. This is only for par, so I mean. Come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna play right at the flag. Oh no! And yes, the dreaded oh no sound comes to play, but at least what I'm in the, the fairway. What the heck was that? I hit that like two feet off the ground. And for me, I like to try avoid compounding mistakes and just go for the middle without being too cute. That's all I can ask for. And at least it gives me an opportunity to try to convert Snap. for a par. Oh, I should not have taken yours into account. Why did I do that? They're super far, right? And once again, we're hitting oh, into the backwards. beautiful blue skies, but my high spinny fade just... is getting eaten alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's going backwards. You need to advance it, that's it. On par fives, I'm just thinking about advancing the ball so I don't have a difficult third. Yeah. Arena. Unfortunately, can't execute here and I don't get onto the green in regulation. We're gonna nip nip this one into existence. This doesn't quite nip as much as I would like and it rolls well past the hole. Sit. Sit. Oh. And then, yep, I just can't seem to buy a putt, so I'll have to settle for a bogey. I gave away too much. All right, I'll represent us spinny faders. I'm a proud representative of the spinny faders club, but this one ends up drawing. Spinny draw, that's pretty. That's beautiful, it's gonna go up in the, oh my God. Oh, it's like so, so wet here. And I hit a beautiful one into the green and I'm quite happy with my iron play today. Do one of these numbers. And no hate on the aim point people out there. I was just making a joke with my friends. And maybe call it karma because I end up missing this butt quite horribly. Dude, that was, I like barely tapped that. So this is a tough downhill oh. par three. End up being way short of the green. I think I'm up top. Oh, did it come down? This is breaking left to right, huh? And you know what time it is? It's bump and run time. Let's go. A little short. And we're able to clean this up for par. There you go. Oh. You pull that flag for me? Yeah, James. I mean, it's just straight ahead, huh? Just straight ahead? This one lands between the sand traps, but unfortunately, it's the oh. furthest thing away from the cart path. It's going to be in the water. I didn't even see it. Oh, no. I'm presented with a situation where I need to use my lob wedge, and I'm happy with this result. Unfortunately, not terribly happy with this putt, and I'll have to settle for a bogey here. I'm just gonna go for those rocks, and then fade it off. So we're getting pretty comfortable with the driver here, and it's hard not to be when there's such big landing spots here at Half Moon Bay. And once again on par fives, just take a club you're comfortable with advancing so you have an easier third shot. Oh, no. oh, that was a mistake. I put a new layer of dirt on here. As the course was very soaked, clean club faces was a premium this day. I'll take it, I'm on the green. And this was a very poor birdie attempt. Followed up by a good par attempt. Pulled it. Oh. Par. Par, John. We're in for par, okay? Fatigue is starting to set in, and the high spinny fade is back. Short right, huh? Oh, shite. What the heck happened there? Oh, great. I might not be able to find that. 
I was correct. I was not able to find it, so I ended up taking a drop here and adding two strokes to my score. And unfortunately, I'm compounding issues and I blade this one across the green. The mistakes continue and this putt ends up nowhere near the hole. Oh no! <laughs> this is a mess. And now I'm putting for a triple bogey. And unfortunately, I'm not able to convert this, so I end up with a quadruple bogey on this par four. That was crazy. These last eight holes are probably some of the best in the business. I mean, that's, I got, I got room, right? 130, wind is what, behind us? I try to hedge any risk here by going for the middle of the green. It fades off, and now I have a huge putt. I mean, I'm, I got like a 100 foot putt, but end up hitting this one a pretty good pace and I'm very happy where I left it and leaves me a manageable putt for my par. Good pace. And I'm happy to report that I was able to convert. Putt. All square. This is incredible. With the ocean on your left, it doesn't get much better than this. Oh. Get left. Nice. Oh, stay on. It might be, it might not be. I was a little disappointed I wasn't able to convert this birdie, but I'll take the easy par. Ah, uh, easy par. Let's chalk this one up to nerves and wanting to hit a good last drive, but I ended up popping this one up to the right, and unfortunately I couldn't find my ball, so I took a drop. Um, and am I right? Even though I'm behind the stroke count, par five principles still apply, and advance as far as you can to make your third shot as easy as possible. Great. Even though my shot wasn't that nice, I can't help but admire this scenic shot into the last green with the hotel in the background. Am I on the green or no? We'll have one last bump and run for the day and we leave ourselves with a manageable putt just to save our double. No, I'm putting for double. I lost the ball. Turn, and with turn, a poor turn. last attempt, I end up with a Hold triple it. on the last, but I can't wait to come back here and play again. Uh, as you can see, it didn't play all that great, but I honestly didn't care. Uh, a couple lost balls is definitely going to inflate the score. Uh, with that being said, yeah, there was views everywhere, great conditions, pace of play was awesome, even though it was cart path only. And yeah, I had a really great time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing, and I'll see you in the next one.